Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate. This is Saiken and we're playing the legendary Grandmaster blind playthrough, hardest difficulty Iron Man. Welcome back to the dark grim universe where there is only war. And today the war is on Ferrogar, Ferrogar 4 to be precise. And we can <clears throat> opt to uh, win a mission with only three units. You could uh, rest well assured that that is, of course, uh, what we're going to do. How can I swap him for someone? Can I take him out? Remove from squad. There we go. Uh, you gotta learn how to read, Saiken. Anyways, our prime team is gonna go on to this beautiful mission. And this time we're going to take the healing servo. Let's just double check that our loadout for all of them is fine. Got a nice little storm bolter. We got a sword, which is good. Armor, we got the right armor as well. And we only have one war gear slot. Uh, this one here looks fine as well. And this looks good as well. Only extra war gear slot that we have is unfortunately on Jim. And Jim is not on this mission. So for the Emperor, we're going to do this with three men. Fabulous. Good, here we go. <clears throat> we detect these seeds so often in the ruins of our great ecclesiarchy. It is the plague lord mocking us, Purifier. He mocks the edifice of our Imperium. This bloom is only one of countless jibes. We will undo every one of his jests, brothers. The seeds lay ahead. Extract or destroy them. I like the chapels. It's such a fun environment to fight. At the moment it sucks that we're only getting those bloom missions. I would love to have a bit more mission variety, but maybe this is going to come. Your command. Apothecary moves up. The Emperor lights our path. And Anders moves up as well. Enders is the one that needs the least movement. Standing ready. Moving out. Good, we're good. <clears throat> and solid first turn. Boom rises, unfortunately by 15%. And we want to go right in there. What is your will? Taking position! Stirs within the shadows. Okay, we need to fight these guys before we're engaging any further. Standing ready. This is my trigger. It does not Your orders? Work. Yes. That's my trigger. Yep. I want to trigger them this turn because now we're filling up our action points. Just wait. <laughs> Just wait. What is your will? Hmm. 
Good. Teleport to here. Nice, that didn't even cost us anything. And can we hit all three? No, but we can hit two. We strive! Good one. Very good one. Love it. Yes, Commander. Good, we're putting ourselves in a bit of an exposed position. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't work out. Mm. I, I want to serve. keep uh, them for multi-target damage. Let's move over here. Unfortunately, fell into the wrong direction. Okay, not optimal. At your service. At once. But this here should be very helpful. Opening fire. I must sanctify the Fabulous. Praise the Emperor. Two kills. That's two kills as well. Unfortunately, this here is in the way. <clears throat> Santo. Got a grenade for two kills here, and then I could move up and just chain saw this guy to death. I think that's not the worst idea. Strike and there's the kill. Fantastic. Well, we're moving up. My armor remains a fortress. Okay, we're still good. Time we're moving up. Sabers. Advancing. Thus, this here allows us to take shots. At the moment, we first of all need to reload. cover means he's going to miss anyways Your orders. which means we need to take another will point don't like that
Good, healing those three hit points uh, that the Chaos Bolt has uh, dealt this damage. Next up... Let's move over here because we need to get to these other spawns. And waste as little time as possible. 15% uh, warp every single time yes, is quite a bit. It adds up. Yes, Question is, do I want to breach right now? Yours. Do we feel like that's a good idea? We could do that. We're getting full AP back. And we're saving one more turn. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> Hello, knock knock. Who's there? The unfaithful army. Yes. Ready the worst nightmare. Spawn flash. Mm. Purge the beasts. Not cool. Do come on. Affirmative. Okay, so that Aisha. is one big fat set of damage. Love it. And whilst we are in the middle of it, firing on target. This is a triplet as well. Glory to Zyphos. Unleash me. On the right. Yeah, long range, not good. We are better off moving in and trying that again. Still medium range, okay. What is your will? With alacrity. If we charge it, they are almost dead. Let's do that. Great damage, but it also took quite a bit of warp points from us. I pulled a seed from this rot. For the Emperor's chosen. Destroy. Good, we used a lot of resources, but I think overall it was worth it because imagine we came in, uh, moved all the way, right? Um, then charged in, fought them, and their entire um, their entire force, and we can move on. And all of this is effectively one turn. Good. We got enough for one more teleport strike. That's all we need. Just 
one reinforcements. Does that mean they just have more enemies there? Potentially. Your command. This might trigger. Barely not, okay. What is your will? The Emperor lights our path. Which means I will go to here. Your orders? And we're charging. No, that was the wrong one. Oh, that was the apothecary. Didn't want that. Unfortunate. Prepare to engage. I wanted Linus here to be able to do that. Oh, that's unfortunate. It really is. Move to here. Hit these guys and get them out of cover. Wounds inflicted. And we could <coughs> make a van pay. I'll think about it. Your orders? Your service. Moves to here. Enough to hit him once. We do have the ranged advantage, which we should consider using. Idea. I am here to serve. I think we're just going to go in. And are just normally striking this guy down. That's one. And that's a kill. Mercy in death. Not sure what that does, but last time I think it exploded, so I'm not very keen to exploring uh, the option of getting this one down. Instead, uh, cause them to bleed because that will go through their armor. And we could blind them as well. Sure, if blinding does a whole lot, reduce the damage a little bit. And there's the chance to purge them, and purging is good. Both of them are purged and blinded. Blinded. Um, Minus two damage with ranged attacks. That's fantastic. I should read the, uh, those um, those debuffs. That's uh, incredibly good. That's a really good debuff. Good, we're taking we're taking Aegis. Again! Again! No 
Okay, fair enough. Do whatever you want. This guy sets up a firing zone. Not that it matters too much. But they nicely bleed, which indeed matters a bit more. Unleash me. Still medium range. We could Psy bolt it for a decent crit chance. But before we do any of Standing that... Ready. Let's move up to here so that we get a bit closer. And this here is medium range as well. Firing on target. So wounded for the Emperor. You will heal. Destroy. One. Uh, I should have cyborged it. With alacrity. A surprise. Guess who's behind you? It's a me, Mario. See them fall, brothers. To attract another group. Could move to here. That would reduce uh, the damage that we're taking. Or we're challenging him in melee combat. I think we're just gonna give ourselves an eager shield. What is your will? Good, this removes the stupid affliction. And uh, also purifies him and heals him. Impurity. Praise the Emperor. Don't need to warp charge. This is enough to hit him. My focus fails me. And that's the kill. I trust your men. Do return to the edict at once. Uh oh, lots and lots of enemies. This is coming with me. Hmm, good question. Where do we want to move? I think we're moving into the back here. More 
the play gods Ouch. Oh, that's a nasty re uh, set of reinforcements. <clears throat> it gets even worse. Moves to here. And then continues to move to here, which is far enough away to not cause any problems. Here, hit this. <laughs> oh, yes, baby. Fire on your corpse. Moving now. Full cover. Uh, we can reload, that's not bad, because we will need it. I have sanctified my rounds. Cool, let's make our stand here. <laughs> no, Nurgle does not protect. Lots and lots and lots of pox walkers. Wonderful. Securing position. Nurgle protects. No, still, Nurgle does not protect. Nurgle mutates, but most certainly Nurgle does not protect. Plus 50% resistance, that's not bad. Uh, we just need to hold for one more turn. Opening fire! Sanctify my rounds. You certainly must do that at some point in time, but not now. Uh, now you need to make sure that these guys are all blinded. Santo. Um. 
Good, hitting all three of them. Fabulous. Now we're just standing where we are. We're good. Unleash me. The Aegis shields up. I have sanctified my rounds. Okay. Let's see what you uh, what we got in turn, and we should be fine. Enjoy position. Against Space Marine, that uh, or Chaos Space Marines, that bleeding is really not that bad. this turn. A couple of wounds, but I think we should be okay. We did it with three and we didn't uh, break a sweat. The higher amount of uh, will points really makes a difference. It's essentially such a good resource to solve problems. Teleportation strike for instance is action efficient and you're dealing a lot of damage. So what we get? Uh, we got a sword here. Uh, with a nice little crit upgrade. Hmm. Deals five points of base damage. So that in itself is not bad. What do we have here? Level one arm one. With a lot of extra willpower and that's a good armor. Yeah, there are definitely a few really nice weapons. This costs us one. I'm wondering if we should get the armor. A level one armor as well. All of these things are level one. Yeah, I think for two points we're fine. Good, more lightly wounded, but also a few more uh, promotions. So, the Purgator. I was wrong with Emperor's Light. Blinded is a really good ability. The extra area is fine as well. Um, we are not running out of will points uh, too often, so we're good. That um, return fire might be helpful, but I also like the idea of support fire. One use per turn. And weapon gains another four range, which is helpful because range also equals when your medium range goes up, and that is very, very good. Plus, this upgrade here with ignoring half cover. So, I think we're going to go into this support fire, and then next time, ignore half cover and uh, potentially the return fire. Extra crit damage isn't bad either, if we had that 50% um, crit stratagem for instance, uh, that could be really good. 
But I also want to go for uh, the grenades because the grenades are top. Really, really good. So over here we have uh, the kill zone, which I think I'm using too little so far. Uh, area of three, enemy is vulnerable. Uh, for two turns, that's not bad either. And then that extra grenade slot. So that's one, two, and then three, four. Grenades greater area is cool as well. So yeah, lot, lots of good stuff. But for now, let's confirm the promotion. More weapon range and that support fire is a good promotion. It is a good promotion. Unfortunately, Enders got injured a bit. All right, for uh, Linus here, I like the scorching. It's not too bad. I mean, bigger area would be fine, but I don't want to build the character around scorching. Uh, down here, we got Empress Judgment. I don't know what Hobbled does, so uh, that may or may not be good. I think it is can't move. Oh no, uh, the can move is an extra add-on here. Hmm. Yeah, but we're going to go for the servitors. And that would allow us to, whenever we're using battle medicine, to give uh, uh, the target also an AP on top, uh, which and another five heal. So we're now looking at twelve heal, which is good. I like it, but it costs a lot of uh, will points, and we're now having another servo slot that we can use, and. I'm going to upgrade uh, the uh, servo ammo. This here is a bit, a bit weird, right? Because the thing is, if you do have two servos with uh, overall uh, three charges each, then it's unlikely that you need another ranged ability. So I think I'll just go for this here, um, for these two, and then we're going to take it further from uh, there. Down here we do have melee weapon upgrades. Not particularly fast about uh, that. My idea was to use the surplus for healing so that he has willpower for other stuff. And so far the bleeding is good. The bleeding is good. I think what we could do once we have uh, this here, the servos, I could go into area plus one and bleeding uh, plus one because that's then larger area 10 bleed uh, 10 points of damage granted over multiple uh, rounds, but it's not bad at all uh, Alpha striking is a thing, but uh, This year against heavier armored units is definitely helpful um, The hobble thing down here might be another option over here. We got The whole uh, target someone else to deal more damage. Target an alley within reach to gain two crit damage for melee attacks and one movement speed. That's not bad either. So that would be kind of full support, uh, so to speak. Um, four, uh, four crit damage on melee attacks. Well, that's actually quite good. So is this here for crit damage? Yeah. Down here we do have Target LA gains uh, resistance. Resistance is also not too bad. Um, that sympathetic uh, biomancy is nice. Small chance to also give yourself kind of resistances. Uh, that could go up to 50% resistance for two turns. 
I can see that that is not bad. So maybe from a uh, planning perspective, let's get the Servitors first. Then we're taking AoE bleed damage. Like this here. I don't want to go into the melee attack. I don't think that is how this character is supposed to be played. Uh, the question is, do we want to go uh, to down here? Emperor's Judgment. Or do we rather take the bu uh, buffs? I think this here is uh, is helpful. This here is helpful. Like, um, imagine this buff on on Enders when he teleports in, and then the stratagem. Every single hit plus four points of damage. Then you pile on to that uh, extra AP that you uh, shift into him. It becomes ridiculous quite fast. The stun thing, I believe, is a, is great, but a little bit too expensive for my taste. So we're just going to go with crit damage. And this down here, the resistance, um, I think that is not bad either. So, yeah, we're taking this, then bleed, and... You know what? I mean, we don't even need to like do either or. We can do this, yeah. Then next up, we're taking that. Then we're upgrading bleed, and then we're going into this direction. The bleed itself isn't bad at the moment. You know what? Let's take this, then bleed, and then we're going down here. Uh, that's the safer path. Okay, cool. Level four. How do our barracks look like? Uh, so Jim definitely is out for now, but Dan is back 15 days and we're ready. So uh, we, do, we do have a just a justy car. Uh, the rest is very much better ready. Uh, Zoe and Enders, however, it, are out as uh, well. So Linus will be the only one from the prime team uh, that we can use. We could also just give that second team a spin, like uh, those guys, and give them a chance to gain some sweet, sweet experience because Linus just had their level up and uh, yeah, might not want to go too far. For now we're traveling further and uh, getting that second bloom mission. Once we're here, we would reduce the corruption by one, which is great. Good. Well, I think we have arrived, which, mind you, were, uh, were quick. So quick even that we haven't even upgraded our ship further. We got a lot of servitors now, which is not a bad uh, thing, because we can upgrade whatever we want. Not sure if any of those ship upgrades are worth it at the beginning. I like the idea of extra experience, so that's potentially going to happen next. Oh, this gives you another pro, uh, prognosticar. That's cool. Now we're we're going to do meditation chamber next. This isn't bad either. Could give you even more servitors. And it could uh, give you more ship speed, plus 20, plus 20, plus 20. I assume that that is cumulative. Yep, 
Yeah, I think that's cumulative. Anyways, uh, we are pretty much done for today. Thanks a lot for watching. If uh, you are a loyal servant of the Emperor, then uh, today is your lucky day because he has invited you to click the like button on this video and you wouldn't want to make him unhappy, would you? Have a good one and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.